Hi guys, welcome to GVS Academy. In this video, I'll show you how you can upgrade or downgrade your PHP version from your cPanel account. For this video demonstration purpose, I'll use uh, this dummy website that I have posted under a domain name called www.demosites.com. And yeah, thing is, you need to log in into your cPanel account. And for a safety purpose, you need to click on uh, file manager and take a backup of your ht access file which is a super important file for your apache server and you don't want to mess it up so you just need to take a backup of that file and keep it safe somewhere once you enter into your public underscore html folder if you are not able to see your ht access file go ahead here and click on settings click on and show hidden files and save. Now you'll be able to see dot stxs. You just need to right click and download it. You can uh, save a copy here itself, but I prefer to keep it locally. Now, now here. I need to update my PHP version, right? So before that, I need to check whether which version of PHP is it uh, right now. And for that, what I need to do is go to cPanel and in the search bar, just click multi. That's it. And here you will be able to see under software sections, multi PHP manager. Open this. Scroll down. Here you'll be able to see your domain name which is connected to this cPanel account. And corresponding to that, in the second column, you'll be able to see PHP version. Right now it's an up-to-date version, it's PHP 7.4. And uh, if suppose that I need to uh, I cannot upgrade it because it's the latest version. And in case your version, let's let me downgrade it just click on uh, select this domain by checking in this checkbox and go ahead here on drop down and select 7.3 for this demonstration purpose I just had to uh, downgrade it to 7.3 but you don't have to do it if your, if your website is using 7.0, 7.1, 7.2 you can easily click on 7.4 or 7.3 and hit apply. Right? In the end, just go to your website and see if everything is working fine. If the site is broken, you need to do some additional steps, but if not, then you're good to go. Okay, the site is working fine, and this is how you upgrade and downgrade or downgrade the PHP version. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.